Ah. Uh, Roy, I'm gonna try to beat the race before you. Okay. <laughs> I cannot win the achievement like this, but uh, it looks really good. <laughs> Um, Roy, come on. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so sorry, guys. We are running a bit late, uh, but I think it's okay. Uh, so before uh, you play, you show to the world uh, how good you are. Um, can you present yourself? Who are you, Roy? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, I'm Roy from uh, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and um, I joined the team early this year as a producer. And uh, my background is uh, is in game production. I uh, worked the last uh, 12 years, I think, in game production. Uh, last gig before here was uh, at Guerrilla Games uh, on Horizon Forbidden West. No, no, I don't know this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool game, but it's not a real big adventure. Of course. Um, okay, cool. Uh, can you explain uh, just like in a few uh, minutes what was your role uh, in the update and uh, what? What does it mean to be a producer on new games? I'm pretty sure Check. that uh, yeah. no one knows. Yeah, so um, uh, I was working mainly with uh, Sebastian, who you just met, and, uh, and Gwen on uh, on the update. Uh, on this, uh, the old classic games, my role was a bit more diversatile, I would say. Like I was uh, heavily involved in um, uh, in some decisions on the new game plus, but also on the achievements and on the, the content. Uh, but in general, uh, as a producer, uh, my role is to um, uh, coordinate different uh, disciplines and to make sure that uh, people know what they need to do, in which priority, and that, uh, th that it gets done. Because uh, as we all know, like uh, everybody has great ideas to make games better and more complete, but uh, yeah, it's a big, uh, big risk to continue feature creeping and, and adding new stuff. At one moment, you have to ship the game. So it's, uh, it's important to always keep the balance into uh, what is really needed to make the game better. Uh, and you, sorry, but before you go deeper, you didn't explain uh, what was your relationship with the game. Ah, check, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, I, I played both games like uh, a lot. Uh, I think um, I, I play the games at least uh, uh, once a year for the last uh, 25 years, 27. Um, so the, the first one or the second one? Uh, mostly the second one, but I love the first one as well. Um, so basically, I when uh, when uh, a friend of mine on uh, I, I think I was eight or ten, uh, a friend of mine uh, on, uh, on the primary elementary school introduced me to it, and uh, I was like, holy shit, this is like open world. I can just go everywhere I want. I can talk to people. I can I can use all these cool items, and um, yeah, it, the game just uh, just captured me. Uh, it was uh, magic, and um, since then yeah. I I knew I wanted to do professional video games. Uh, so. Being here actually with the team uh, working on this IP is a childhood dream come true. Uh, let's see if you have any question. Uh, Roy, did you try to speedrun it? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, for, for testing, I needed to uh, I needed to uh, to pull out a yeah, few you speed tested runs. This version, uh, yeah, like many many times. Yes. So I, I did uh, I did use some some uh, shortcuts here and there. So to, uh, I'm going to give you the controller. So we're going to start uh, to I'm going to change the uh, language first. Because it's a new feature as well, you can change the language here. Um, you want uh, English text, uh, English voices, oh well. yeah, as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So let let me see if there's oh, the question. Um, mm -hmm. Do you do you guys know the magic ball forum? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of it. Yeah. I've heard of it. I mean, like, can you the magic can you ball network? You have a street cred. You know, you are member since mm. 2000 or something like that. No, <laughs> I, I I don't have a reputation there. Can we check? <laughs> but like I, I do have uh, like a very a very early account, I think. But uh, I wasn't a um, uh, an active um, uh, active member in the sense of uh, posting content there. But I was definitely lurking a lot. And uh, following all the updates and all the fan projects, and uh, you know, I've uh, been a big, big time fan of the forum. Um, so yeah, now it, now it's additionally handy. Like we use, uh, we use for example the for the testing of this this uh, version, we uh, we use all the the save games yes. that were available yeah. on the t on the Magic Ball network, which is amazing because uh, I couldn't find my old saves anymore. So uh, this was really helpful, and it's just super cool to see uh, people so enthusiastic about the IP that you love yourself as well. Uh, let me check uh, the question. Uh, dans l'oreillette, on n'a pas de nouvelles. Le frère. Non. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, 
will you translate the game in Chinese? Hopefully, but uh, we don't know yet. Uh, can you guys talk a little? Oh, yeah. It's a good, uh, uh, because like, I've already answered this question in French. Mm -hmm. Ah, like check. Now I can try. <laughs> the, uh, now it's a, I again, uh, I can same, try same uh, question. Yeah. Uh, can you guys talk a little more about the idea of rebooting the franchise? Uh, you want to explain? I explain. Uh, yeah, you can start. Did you manage uh, to have the achievement? Or not uh, I, I think in this run I will I will manage to do it. If he yells lost, I'm I'm actually uh, I'm lost. So no, <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. You have to time it based on the on the the engine sound, but I I don't hear the sound very well. Yeah, so, because uh, we 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 yeah. had, had to uh, move it for. Yeah, so I'll try one more time and then. Uh, uh, sure I, have the I have the wizard the gamma. So oh, nice, nice, nice. So then we can, can, uh, can uh, go to the tune. Um, yeah. So, uh, talk about the reboot. So, uh, so now internally we call it more like a reinvention of the franchise, not like a reboot. It's more like uh, it's our vision of uh, of the game. Uh, so basically, it's based on the first game. It's kind of the same um, uh, structure, but with many changes. Uh, one change that uh, Samantha explained earlier is that uh, the role of uh, Zoe will be wow. way different. And we cannot say <laughs> we cannot say much <laughs> more. Much yeah. more. Uh, Didier explained just earlier that uh, there are some changes, of course, uh, on Citadel Island. Here. Uh, here. And of course, we want to surprise uh, uh, like the community. We don't want to, to do exactly the same game. Um, and it's in the same time, uh, we want to attract new players. Are you just abandoned? Yeah, 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 I give up. <laughs> <laughs> but it is doable. <laughs> I did it for you. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I'll try. That's what I want. There's an achievement if you uh, win the race. Um, no, you, you don't. You don't need to win it. You need to uh, follow him. I, mean, I, just, I just did it. So, no. Yeah, you know, if you beat him, you don't get the achievement. Oh. It's a bit of a tricky one, uh, like it. Tricky one. Yeah, to, so, to how you conceived the achievements? So, <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> and to be clear here, this is we didn't change the gameplay here at all. So it was already in the original game. So you have to follow him, uh, and then and then he gives you a reward, and we just added an achievement yeah. to it. But you basically say uh, like here, nobody can follow me. You can actually follow him or, or even beat him. But um, it's um, you have to, uh, you have to stay very close to him and. Uh, I'll just I'll just go yeah, to see yeah, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah, fun. Go, but go to the in theory, you can do it if if, if you uh, want to. Have a little let video. me check out the question. Um, mm -hmm. With the reboot, can you expect can we expect for the, the games down the line if we're successful? Yes, of course, uh, that's the objective. Uh, but it's already super hard to do one game. Uh, but ideally, we do three. Um, but we don't. Yeah, we <laughs> we need to succeed in the first one. Uh, there was some question about voiceover as well. Do we keep the same voiceover? Actually, it's a kind of a tricky question uh, because it was 30 years ago. Uh, sadly, one of the actress, uh, I think it was the, uh, for the French actress, uh, passed away a few years ago. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of a tricky question. Um, so usually, uh, so the first fact as well, it was there was only no, no, three actors for all the characters in the game. <laughs> Um, so we see probably it's going to be uh, uh, new actors, uh, but we don't know yet. It's, it's the same question, same answer as uh, for the music. Uh, we are still far, far away from deciding uh, who's going to do the music uh, and what about voiceover. So we are still super early. Uh, we're not yet in, in production. We're still in pre production, early pre-production. Um, mm -hmm. Question. Mm. Question. Is it in French or in English? Ah. Uh, so I haven't read this question, but there was a question about do you do you plan to add uh, RPG uh, stuff in the game? I think you can say no. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, uh, if if you want to look at a modern game that that is somewhat related to to this one, but also not not at all. So like it, it takes two, for example. Yeah. It's like really uh, or Zelda a Zelda game. Like um, the idea, uh, partly what I think is is amazing about the original games is that you have a lot of different items which you all, all can use in in one simple way, rather than having just uh, a few mechanics that you can use very deeply. 
So I think uh, RPGs usually go very deep and a lot of grinding and a lot of uh, like uh, statistical design. And we have more, um, yeah, functional design. I would say more, more uh, fun gameplay, fast mm -hmm. gameplay, and uh, lots of different, uh, uh, different things, rather than uh, yeah, deep, deep RPG system. Um, so uh, I guess we, so we are expecting. We hope so. Uh, a guest, uh, but he's not showing up. So I'm gonna uh, leave my place and give it to Tiffen. Nice. Um, yeah. And uh, I hope that uh, you're gonna beat the game uh, super yeah. easy. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. So I come back in 30 minutes. And, it yeah, and now we're done. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> challenge. They ask, uh, they ask you for speed run, they ask you for speed run, so. uh, No, but the idea also of New Game Plus is to really like, even if you have more items, you still need to follow the story. Uh, you can uh, cheat a little bit, as you saw. Uh, it's always it's amazing to do to use the server cannon for uh, the trial magic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That saves so a bit so of time. <laughs> and I'm using protopack all the time. We don't use protopack. Like yeah, uh, super jetpack. Yeah. yeah. Um, Comment ça a été financé hey, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good question. Um, so actually, we did uh, like a, a fundraising with business, business angels a few months ago. And uh, we will probably not do a Kickstarter. Uh, we are more aiming for early access uh, than a Kickstarter. And um, a bad publisher, uh, we don't know yet. Uh, we will see. We want to find the right publisher for us. Uh, so someone who really knows uh, the, the game, uh, who knows what, that it can be amazing. Um, but yeah, it's still super early, so... We still have, I don't know, like a few months, uh, even maybe one year before deciding this, this, deciding this kind of stuff. And uh, so we need to show them that we have a great community, that we have people following us, and uh, that we are building a new game that will attract new players. Um, so we'll see that in a few in a few months. Uh, there was another question? No? No? That's cool. Um, so maybe you sit here? Sure. And uh, I, I come my back. guests can join. I come back when uh, our guests uh, come back. Okay. Starting the automatic guide. Thanks, sorry. Cool. Thanks, a lot, then. See you guys. Hello. Hello, Tiffan. Thanks for joining. Very happy. Um, yeah, so um, uh, to, uh, as a quick introduction to you, uh, like uh, Tiffan actually started working here two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, actually. I started so yesterday. Yeah. I just met the team uh, yesterday morning. And, uh so how, how is it to, to start uh, in a company and then be invited to an event like this? And uh, that was uh, really intense because uh, you have a lot of information because you already uh, make all the concepts, mm -hmm. you make a lot of stuff, you already have two games before, it's so you need to take all this information uh, to integrate it and to, to make something good uh, with that. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, the team is uh, really nice, you're a nice team. Hap happy to hear, happy to hear. <laughs> Likewise, otherwise we would advise you, so uh, now we're super happy that you joined. It's, uh, it's really cool. Um, you're like, um, yeah, you don't know that about Tiffen, but we actually saw her work and, and um, uh, got to, to talk to her and uh, like, you're an amazing, uh, I think a super talented uh, designer. <laughs> and I think, um, yeah, we will be um, uh, yes, just super happy to work with you and to uh, be able to see your work uh, in action. So really exciting. And um, yeah, and it's also interesting because like this game already came out before you were born. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's an uh, interesting <laughs> challenge. The game is uh, older than me, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I didn't play it at the beginning because uh, I didn't know it and uh, when I born that was already some days, some years past <laughs> but uh, I discovered it now and uh, there is a lot of things really interesting and uh, like I don't know why some games didn't take it uh, like uh, the number of interaction you have with the game uh, make it so immersive and so alive it's uh, a really good point and uh, I think it's something to keep and to work on it and yeah. to use. And uh, yeah, the, the project has and now are really, really, really cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, it's really interesting. I think uh, for, for some of you who are listening right now or watching, uh, 
like part of the the reason what what this, this team makes so interesting is that we have a mix of people uh, like for example myself who knows the game uh, from release and mm. played the game many times uh, big fan and people who never played it before yeah. who can who can offer such a fresh take on um, on what what this game makes uh, yeah what, what makes this game so interesting I think um, and it's also important like we need to uh, or at least that's our wish we want to. Uh, definitely uh, keep the magic and keep the original um, spirit alive but at the same time we also are very aware that we need to uh, mix things up and make it new to make it interesting for uh, uh, for various players out there and um, i think um, yeah you are a great candidate to, uh, to help <laughs> out there um, so yeah we're actually um, uh, currently playing uh, not really speed running I'm, i've never done a speed run but i i've done fast runs i would say but um, it's really interesting now we are uh, at the first time on the new planet Seelish mm -hmm. and we're actually um, uh, being thrown in jail by the, uh, by the, uh, by the Emperor and at this moment uh, I want to get back because uh, I, I need to go, uh, go to talk to Zoe to see uh, you know, if she knows what's, uh, what's up and um, Jody Elf just told me that uh, the uh, wizards are actually captured mm -hmm. so that was the reason as well why I was I think someone asked uh, if uh, we will uh, still have uh, all uh, the race we already have in the game, the spare work and stuff like that, if ah. we keep it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's a good, that's a good question indeed. Uh, I think um, when we look at uh, what we want to keep and what we want to change, mm -hmm. it's basically like uh, there, there there's a lot of um, uh, elements. I have very much difficulty uh, talking and uh, <laughs> playing at the same time, but <laughs> I'll try to push you. Um, so Multi yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it, it keeps it challenging. Um, oh, I forgot to, uh, to get the item token. So um, basically, uh, the the, w the world building is 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 one of the things per personally I, I really love about the game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, like the characters, the diversity, the it's 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 just very. Um, uh, very diverse and very uh, varied and mixed and uh, things like um, uh, the locations, uh, the, the main characters like Sharon Baldino, Zoe, Twinson, uh, the, the, the Spheros, the Quetches, the Rabbi Bunnies and Grobos, everything will just be, uh, be as you expect because it's just basically uh, we don't see any reason to change uh, things that are already amazing. Um, the changes would be more in uh, gameplay, yeah. um, uh, controller remapping, uh, art mm -hmm. resolution, uh, quality of life feature, accessibility feature. But um, what we also uh, noticed um, once we started diving more into the story is that there is a lot of, uh, for example, inconsistencies between the first game and the second game. Yeah. And that can be small, sometimes a bit bigger, but uh, our wish is that we, um, we definitely um, yeah, keep keep what's great and improve what 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 can be improved or what's a bit aged. You choose to make a, a reboot to keep uh, the spirit yeah, of the game, the global lore story, but uh, with more coherence and stuff like that. Yes, and, uh, yeah. I think that's uh, that's the best summary indeed. Maybe so. I will let my place to. Maxime? Yeah, yeah. You can uh, you can uh, you can find Maxime. So if if there's uh, any people questions for uh, for Tiffan. While she's here. Question? I can read from here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Two guards almost stun lock you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the things we want to change. Like um, currently, the combat is uh, part of it is fun. Like you, you have cool items and stuff. But uh, it's 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 very um, uh, stun lock or getting stun locked. Uh, as you saw uh, here as well, so luckily I have my defensive spell. But um, uh, that's one of the things in the new game we definitely want to improve. So uh, combat will be one of the things that uh, maybe with partly the same items, but definitely something that we uh, we see a lot of opportunity with yeah, maybe changing and improving. The idea, the base idea, but improve it and make it uh, better and fun to play. So let's see. Yeah, so indeed, uh, somebody says in the uh, like uh, in the chat, like I love the combination of happy colors, uh, characters, and the dark theme. I think that's one of the things that we definitely keep uh, keep uh, in the in the new game or the reboot as well. Like uh, we have um, we have an interesting mix. It's almost like a very uh, dark themed story, like mm -hmm. rebellion and dictatorship and abduction and um, uh, aliens and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's goofy, it's fun, it's light, and I think that mix uh, makes it uh, very appealing for. 
players of all ages, and that's something we definitely want to keep uh, keep intact. Yeah, you everyone uh, give me the example of uh, yeah, it's like a Pixar. You walk yeah. ahead, uh, you will uh, see. Uh, it's fun, it's colorful, Hello? but uh, in fact, when you are at so you, you will see a dictatorial stuff like that, uh, more serious. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's something important to keep here in the game. Uh, I need to run here. <laughs> Can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have done it, so it should be it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, cool. So um, yeah, Maxime, uh, thanks, Stefan. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. And um, bye. Yeah, bye to the next one. <laughs> Hey there, hey everyone. Hey Max. I'm. Uh, Thanks I'm for Max. joining. I'll be joining the stream. Cool. So yeah, Maxime is our uh, our gameplay programmer. So before we Absolutely. start, um, could you could you tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, so I'm Max. I'm uh, French, like a lot of people on this team. <laughs> so yeah, Roy can attest. Um, yeah, I'm a programmer, like gameplay programmer on the game, so basically programmer for those who don't know, and I'm sorry for those who know, uh, is like uh, doing the, the computer stuff, so when a designer wants the, I don't know, the character to jump, to run, and the, as in this example, uh, we kind of give them the tool to, uh, to tailor the, the, the run how they want, uh, to make the run they want, to make the jump they want, uh, we are the connection between the design and the machine. Nice. That's, 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 a, that's, a, a, that's a good summary. That's a very, yeah, yeah, that's a very good summary. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah. bit shocked by it. It's uh, quite impressive. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's don't good. give good summaries <laughs> usually? Okay. No, no, no. Cool. no nice. Nothing related to you. Uh, yeah, nothing okay, related cool. to you. Nice. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, um, um, uh, you were also one of the team members who didn't uh, play the games when they, when they were out. So, no. could you tell us a bit about your first uh, experience when you started playing it and what you, what you like about IT? Hello. Yeah, uh, I, I played the game uh, basically when I joined the team, uh, and I was four when the first game released, and so it's a bit early. Uh, but uh, I played the game, and, and what's funny is that it reminded me of... Uh, uh, I'm sorry about the comparison, but like uh, it reminded me of uh, Zelda a lot, uh, that I played when I was a kid. Like the world is very uh, colorful and inviting, uh, the same way the same way like the, the Zelda games uh, were when I was a kid, and like I, I I worked on games that were like kind of uh, somber and uh, and dark before, so like going to a game that's like more col colorful and like uh, happier, like it's really it's way more fun to actually just uh, every time when you're a programmer, you're gonna launch the game like a thousand times, like just to test like minor things, and it's way more fun to uh, to uh, launch a game that's like happy and colorful and everything. Um, than to launch a dark game. I'm sorry for those who play dark games. Like I'm, <laughs> I, I, I do, I do play dark games. I mean, like I'm sorry for those that that work on dark games. Um, I don't mean to say that they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just find that it's, for me, it is, it is way happier yeah. to launch the game and see like bright colors and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I'm happy to play on my game. Yeah, happy to hear to and work um, on the game. Yeah. What's uh, I think uh, and um, uh, cool about uh, about the game like this as well is that um, uh, you have like uh, did you just blow the Penguin for nothing? Yeah, I used the short key. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so still, uh, still getting used to the short keys. Right. So basically, um, uh, what's what's really cool about uh, about an IP like this, like here, where you have so many opportunities to um, uh, uh, to go nuts. Basically, you have magic, you have uh, stylized art, you have uh, yeah. um, a weird world that uh, that people just invented, yeah. and um, I think that's that's really freeing as a creator. So. Um, yeah, so I think um, uh, I think we, we talked about this before, but uh, like um, your your favorite, uh, like if if you had to had to pick one, was the second game which we're did, currently Ash. playing. So could you tell a bit about what what you really like about uh, the the, the uh, second game? The second game. Yeah, the second game is like way more like uh, 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 varied and like more dense. It feels like the the, the outside in three D. Like I really love that because uh, like it feels like more. Uh, like bigger, like the like the, the place you're 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 going through. I actually started uh, started playing the game with the new camera, so it does give a different feel. Uh, but like it was a uh, it was really fun, like uh, uh, seeing like the alien because it's kind of I I was not expecting the game <laughs> to go in that direction. <laughs> um, 
and yeah it was really nice like discovering like a new world entirely and uh i feel like all the the, the environment and everything like seem like more varied and the gameplay is more varied um and yeah i really like that i really like like going through like every every kind of place i love the the, the desert island it's been a bit of time in this what are you right now what do you need? I'm currently um, I forgot to pick up the ball of, ball of sandal in the, on the uh, citadel island. Ah. So basically, uh, I already um, I could already complete it, I think, but I think I need to do the story progression here first. So let's just just do it. Uh, yeah. Do it there. But yeah, I, I agree with uh, what you just mentioned. Like uh, the second game has a bit more, <laughs> a lot more items and, and uh, locations. Yeah. I think different kind of locations. Yeah, exactly. And, um, hopefully, even in the reboot of the first game, we can still uh, take the, almost the learnings or the uh, the cool stuff from the second game to maybe add a bit more items or add a bit more at least uh, um, variety between the locations. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually working like on on uh, on. Uh, can I say that the mechanics? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, I will. I will, uh, I will cut uh, out the I'm internet. <laughs> if you, uh, oh, no, no. Working on secret stuff. <laughs> um, now I've been working like uh, uh, on the on the dialogue stuff, and it's really uh, cool to kind of uh, have the influence of both games because like yeah, you know, both games are out when we're making this one, and so it's cool to have like kind of this influence and in finding like what kind of uh, stays true to to the game and. What actually changes? You're gonna get, you gotta get uh, nabbed here. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm doubting I, you. Uh, I, should, okay. I shouldn't it's doubt you. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's really cool to to kind of find like the 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 limit. I'm, I'm saying like finding like as if I was the design team, which I'm not. But it's it's also like uh, programming is is kind of like doing a, a little bit of the design, maybe. I don't know. I'm not gonna say that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool to have like a a, a new uh, uh, aspect of the game, like seeing like the the game like being like super new, and uh, they are really good at that. <laughs> it's automatic. And so yeah, basically I've been working like on the dialogue recently, uh, which was really fun to do. Like there's a lot uh, there's a lot of dialogue in the game, and like the 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 new version is not going to be any different. So yeah, we need we need like a, a cool like dialogue system. Yeah, there's like, only spoiler here about the new games. We will have dialogue, right? We will have dialogue. <laughs> yes. Amazed. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Uh, will there be an unedited or cut to Michael Mayer version of the game? Because I think that would be really interesting. Sorry, what was the question? Oh, sorry. Uh, the, the the question. What was the question again? Sorry. Uh, would there be an unedited or cut to animation like before? Yeah, will there be uh, an emphasis on a on a cartoony or like a, um, uh, yeah cartoony like graphics on the game uh, uh, and on on, and yeah. on the animation? Um, the animation is not figured out yet. The the uh, we have the art for like uh, the the concept art right now, which uh, oh. looks like really awesome. Um, and there is uh, a certain style. I would I would qualify it as cartoony. I don't know if you would. Yeah, low yeah. poly stylized is, is I think good. Like I think it actually um, uh, comes comes back to the previous point. Like um, we've we've seen fan art as well out there of all kinds, like uh, very cartoony and very realistic. Yeah. And I think um, uh, our strong preference is, is definitely the the cartoony or the stylized yeah. because it basically uh, for me it fits the uh, it fits the uh, IP way better, but yeah. it also gives way more opportunity to go nuts to, to yeah. do. To do weird stuff that uh, that uh, that in a realistic style is diff difficult. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because we need a style that kind of uh, encompasses like a uh, like a uh, rabbit people and like uh, elephant people. So it needs to be cartoony uh, uh, in some way. And um, yeah, the, the the concept artist is is really really great uh, on the game. He's he's, he's gonna go after. He's gonna game, join right? in a bit. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, really cool. Like, uh, uh, can't wait to to like so, so that everyone can see like what uh, uh, the game is gonna look like. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say more. Yeah, I shouldn't say more, right? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm I, I'm really bad at multitasking. I forgot something else. I know, right? <laughs> Fuck. Oh no, you don't have the pyramid. No. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's difficult to uh, to join uh, mid mid game, I would say. But you know, that's a bit searching for excuses. But you can just jump in the water but, um, and use the jetpack. No, you can you first Another need to do, need to be on the same level. Uh, yeah, oh, man. We will see concept art. 
Well, oh, good question. Uh, will when we, will, we, will we, see we see concept art? Will we see concept art? Uh, I don't know. That's really not my department, so I can't really say. Um, I'm, I'm like the tech guy, so you know, I can I can answer a question about tech. Uh, I guess like pa 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 Paolo, is, uh, who does like the the, the, the art, is gonna join later, so you can ask him the question. Yeah, so there is something more for you. Uh, some people have debated about the attitude. The what? Oh, the behavior, the behavior system. system. Yeah. Ah, I, yeah. I, I think yeah. I think we cannot uh, we cannot tell too much about that. Uh, but what is interesting, like uh, we, um, uh, it, I think to some extent it's it's an obvious one to to uh, to change because it's oh, a bit uh, like uh, a uh, lack of controls at the time. I would yeah. say. But uh, there's something gameplay-wise very interesting about having having, having various modes. So mm -hmm. I, I I think we we are more like the um, uh, we we have found I think a very neat spiritual successor way of, of still keeping the the philosophy alive while uh, making it feel very modern and, and new yeah exactly uh, I, I feel like it's more of a of a, of a, of a thing of the time that uh, there was like this attitude system um, and I think we found uh, again I don't know if I can spoil it but we find we found like a, a way to um, kind of pay homage to it uh, without without like uh, yes. replicating it um, so yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I should see it yeah. now. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Maxime. I thanks think uh, to very you. good. Uh, uh, well done, well done. Well so, done. Uh, yeah, I think a nice <laughs> bridge to, to the well. art, right? Okay. Yeah, you did well. You did well. Yeah, the nice better than me. I, I got game over. Like just tech, tech guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye everyone. Have a good, uh, have a good uh, end of the stream, and uh, welcome, Paolo. Cool. Thanks, Max. Okay, great. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're joining. Uh, we're joined now by uh, by our amazing concept artist. Uh, he's uh, from Brazil, so we're very pleased that he's uh, here. Uh, Paulo, welcome. Hi. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. Galera. Tudo bom? So um, uh, yeah, Paulo is uh, is from Brazil, so he will be uh, be talking in Portuguese. Uh, but uh, uh, yes. it's um, it's a really in for me also a very interesting way to uh, to work together. Like we have to really do uh, simple things like uh, sometimes Google Translate or just working together. But uh, I think uh, it works really well because uh, he's uh, like I've I've been working with dozens of concept artists and. I can say it also in front of the public, like you're, you're the best, you're, the, you're, the, you're really oh, the best yeah. and it's really cool to just um, work with someone who understands uh, everything together, like uh, your first tries in, in terms of color, shape, um, uh, concept also, the creative concept behind it, it's just really good, so I'm, I'm pleased, to, uh, pleased to work with you, oh really good. Pleasure is, is mine. Awesome. So um, yeah, I think a lot of people will be... Um, Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, before before we start diving into questions and stuff, uh, like, uh, could you tell a bit ab about your your background and then also your history with uh, Little Big Adventure? Okay. Or twins and stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, primeiramente, <laughs> como sempre, eu consegui entender 70%, <laughs> mas mas estamos juntos. É, é, eu sou muito fã do jogo, galera. Assim, quando eu vejo os fãs se articulando, é, eu sempre penso que eu, que eu estaria ali no meio, sabe? Então acho que eu mais do que mais do que nunca quero jogar esse jogo. Só de saber que vai ter um reboot, eu já chega a cair uma lágrima. Então é foi tudo começou meu contato com, com essa produção maravilhosa há alguns anos atrás quando eu fiz um fanart e ninguém viu. <risos> Mas é, depois de um tempo rolou essa esse contato mágico e até agora eu fico me biliscando para saber se se é real. Porque, pra mim, é um sonho. Meu sonho era muito menos ambicioso. Meu sonho era jogar um reboot, uma continuação. Mas estar tá aqui é simplesmente surreal pra mim. É, é incrível. Se quiserem perguntar alguma coisa, é só falar. Nice, thank you. And um, so, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe in summary, like, uh, you, it's fair to say you, you already know the games for quite a long time. Right? You know, you know the games. Uh, Quite well. Ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Eu jogava quando era bem bem pequeno. É, é engraçado porque era eu e meu irmão. Eu tenho um irmão mais velho. A gente tem pouca coisa em comum. Era daqueles irmãos que saiu na porrada. Era, era péssimo. Okay. Mas é, Twins sempre foi um ponto de, de convergência entre a gente, sabe? Meu irmão comprou o jogo. É, é, enfim, foi foi uma grande descoberta é, para mim, para a gente. 
É um jogo muito especial. Queria mandar um salve pra João. Salve, João! E, <risos> e, e é, tam, também queria mandar um salve pra Nemo. Enfim, é, é, é muito louco estar aqui. É surreal, é muito, muito gostoso. Nice. So, um, um, yeah, for, for the English speaking people, including myself, very difficult to follow, but uh, again, super happy. No, 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 that's, uh, that's all okay. So, um, yeah, what, uh, from, from my perspective, it was really cool. When I, when I joined, uh, you were already uh, working with the team. And uh, I think the new art style you found is, is very good. Like it's am it's amazing. Um, will be really cool uh, when we can show it. I think there was a question earlier on uh, when when do we show this concept art? I think one of the things where we are really um, uh, careful with is also like there's so many people uh, stir uh, to 25 years um, uh, in between. So I think a lot of people have their own image in their minds what it, what it needs to be. So uh, I think uh, I'm. I'm confident to say that uh, I, I've, I've shown it to some artist friends and we, we in the team, we have fans of the IP and newcomers, and everybody loves it. So I'm sure that the majority of you will love it. And I'm, uh, I'm hoping that the few of you who might have a different opinion of it uh, still can appreciate the, the love and the, and, the, and the passion we throw into it because it's just quality wise very good. Uh, and um, I think also uh, because we are a small team, we also have to make smart decisions. So sometimes a very realistic art style um, uh, it might just be too much work to do uh, so i think uh, you know definitely the um, feasibility of the production is also uh, something we, we keep in mind if that makes sense are there uh, at this moment any questions um, there is one that I'm, I'm not sure you can answer that yeah you can uh, try someone in the, in the chat is asking if the guy uh, the guys from the e lba 2 remake uh, yeah. are in contact with us ah and the answer is uh, Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So. Can, so uh, yeah. The yeah. So um, the, the question was from someone if, if we are in touch with the people from the LBA2 remake project, uh, and the answer is yes. We are definitely yeah, in contact. Yeah. yeah. And Alex and Adrian. Adrian. Yeah. Adrian. And um, so um, yeah. Basically, uh, I, I've I've been uh, in touch with Alex. I think a few times with uh, with Playtas and stuff like that. Like um, they are super nice people. Uh, very cool. That uh, yeah. We are just humbled that. People are uh, working uh, on, on such an old game still with so, ma so much passion. So um, there is a very clear differentiation between uh, the fan projects and, and, and us. Like uh, we are, uh, I think both uh, are separate for a reason, I would say. But uh, we do collaborate where we can. So uh, I think we, um, we use, for example, the, on the LBA2 remake uh, website, there's an amazing um, a library of animations. Uh, I al always use it when I want to explain the the magic of the old games, like uh, the, the animation so expressive and super cool. So, and that, yeah, that's literally the, their project uh, that's enabling us. So, really cool people. I'm really happy to, uh, to work with them. Um, yeah. Okay, so is there any questions for Paolo? <laughs> that is that here, uh, like, um, uh, obviously, what, what will the new art look like, but maybe something else. Um, Ah. Okay. So uh, the the question is um, for you as a concept artist, which part was the most challenging to redesign and the most fun to redesign? Oh, to uh, do. Can I speak? In yeah, you can. Yeah, you can speak. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, you can speak in Portuguese. Tudo tem sido bem desafiador. É um projeto. É, bem ambicioso e grande dentro das dentro das diretrizes e, e, e tem sido incrível é, poder pegar o que o que a gente o que já foi feito em LBA e, e mudar trazer uma nova leitura acrescentar novas histórias é, sem sem tanto apego mas ao mesmo tempo sem perder o fio do, do sentimento sabe? isso isso tem sido bem desafiador esculpir um mundo que na verdade é, é tão interno e tão, tão especial para mim e para a equipe é, é, é algo realmente desafiador, sabe? Bom do sentimento. Nice, thanks. Didn't understand any of it, but uh, I'm sure it was an amazing answer. <laughs> no, but I think this is also partly the, the fun of working with, uh, with such a diverse team. Um, I think we are all share the love for making great games and um, uh, amazing art, amazing design. We just want to make the best of it. So for us, language is not a barrier. We look at, at skill and at, uh, at a good match with the product. Uh, very happy uh, 
to yeah. collaborate. You can Thank see you. that people uh, uh, translated this answer. In ah, English. yeah. So um, um, everything that uh, that uh, Paulo says in in uh, Portuguese for those uh, who also don't speak Portuguese, <laughs> it's translated in uh, by by some people. So thanks a lot for that in the chat. So uh, if you are uh, curious what he has to say, uh, look at, look there. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to answer uh, to ask more questions if you have uh, for for Paulo. Okay. Yeah. So uh, um, yeah, uh, Paolo is here for just uh, a few more moments. So if there's any questions, ah, okay, check. <laughs> so sorry for the for the chaos here. So uh, JB, uh, you already seen him, I think, in the French part. But our, uh, our product manager, game director, will be joining me in a bit, and then uh, afterwards, uh, uh, Fred will will be joining uh, as well. So. Uh, Cool. Yeah. So uh, if there's no many, no more questions, uh, then I would say uh, cool. Thanks a lot, uh, Paulo. And uh, yeah, the concept art will be there That's at one moment, and you will be wowed. Bye bye. Thanks, Paulo. Merci. Merci so much. <laughs> hey, JB. Hey again. Hey. Uh, I was answering questions in the chat, and so we were thinking maybe we can answer more questions even uh, on the stream directly. Uh, in English this time, uh, I can repeat. Uh, so, go ahead. I, I cannot really read the chat from where I am, but... Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> if so you have questions. <laughs> questions, let's go. Okay, so uh, which engine? Uh, we decided to go for Unreal Engine uh, 5. Uh, it's powerful, it's uh, efficient, it's uh, an industry standard. Uh, making our own engine uh, doesn't make uh, a lot of sense uh, because, uh, because uh, especially when you have uh, such tech already available and, uh, and uh, so uh, efficient. Yeah. Um, we're a small team as well, so we'd rather spend our time to yes, uh, make exactly. great features rather than... Uh, yeah, we prefer to create uh, content than to uh, program uh, basic stuff again. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not trying to make a cosplay of Twin Sen, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, <laughs> just my, my natural look, uh, sorry. <laughs> yes, the indoors will be... Uh, yeah, so I, I will repeat the question. Uh, will the indoors uh, be uh, in 3D as well? And the answer is yes. Uh, we are uh, at the beginning of uh, the indoors, so it's not uh, really entirely uh, prepared, but uh, it will be in 3D as well. Will the, the new trilogy use the same uh, engine? Yes, uh, we plan to continue uh, with the same, so we can uh, build uh, more and more and bigger and bigger and not. Uh, Redo everything uh, at every uh, engine. Do we plan to send merchandising? Uh, <laughs> honestly, we'd one. love to. Uh, we'd love to. It's just uh, another, uh, you know, another thing to work on. Uh, the, the, you know, starting a, a studio and starting a project is uh, so much work uh, that we and we are not a huge team, so we cannot do it all at the same time, but. Uh, Merchandising, we would uh, really love to. Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, super cool to uh, like uh, a year ago there was like um, uh, I think uh, two years ago a Kickstarter on the TLBA soundtrack yes. and it's just like uh, you see so many people of you out there and I, I was uh, I think the first first one who, uh, who who purchased it myself. So it's really cool to um, to just see the dedicated people here and uh, yeah, any any project we can do as a win win is uh, definitely something we uh, we will. Uh, yeah take into consideration. Yes, of course. Yeah. Someone asked, what can you best support you Okay, that, so that's, that's a great question to wrap it up before the, the, the final special guest. guest mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, how you can support us uh, the, while we are making the game? We have no Kickstarter or Patreon. Uh, so you join the Discord, uh, the official 2.21 Discord, and you go on the website. So it's just a uh, twin cell little big adventure. You can type it in uh, Google. You will find it very easily. Uh, su subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, tell, tell your friend about it. Uh, because the more people uh, support us, uh, the more we can convince uh, publishers and other people uh, to uh, uh, give us the, the funds and the support and uh, also uh, attract uh, super talented people to uh, come on the project. 
if they see that there is a, a big community of uh, fans uh, yeah. that are passionate about the project. So join the, the newsletter and the Discord. Oh. How many programmers on the project? Uh, it's not entirely decided yet. More than one. <laughs> Less than ten. Yeah. Less than ten. Yes. <laughs> Ballpark. Okay. La final final question. Yeah. Would you redesign the planets? Yes, we will uh, remake them and improve them. Ah, yeah. Sorry, we will uh, uh, improve the planets and uh, remake them. So you know, just like between the classic one and classic two, there were changes. Same, uh, you will uh, see the new version of, uh, of Proxima, of uh, Tippet, of Brando, yep. of course, in 3. And uh, now... Fred, tu nous entends? Oui. Ok, je te, je te connecte. Ok. Oui. Hey, hey, hello. Yes. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Il ne voit pas. Hello. Hello, uh, everyone. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. But I cannot see anyone. Ok, uh, Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect.